Naturalini. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 7. So in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing my 2020 MacBook Air. And I'm also going to be showing you guys my laptop accessories. So I got my MacBook Air this year as a graduation gift um, because I graduated in May of 2021 and my macbook air was one of my graduation gifts so i'm basically just going to be reviewing like the features and how i got used to it and i'm also going to be showing you guys my laptop accessories so without further ado let's just go ahead and get started with this video So guys this right here is my macbook air you can call it a laptop a computer whatever you want to call it it's all the same thing i kind of call it both things i call it my computer my laptop they're pretty much the same thing but this right here is my 2020 macbook air and like i said in my intro i did get this as a graduation gift because I graduated from high school in May of 2021. And my mom's been saying for years since I've been in middle school and in high school that she was never going to get me a MacBook. And here I am today, very blessed, very thankful and grateful to be holding a MacBook Air in my hand. So this is my 2020 MacBook Air. It's in the color space gray if you can't tell it is in the color space oh dang y'all i did not think it was gonna turn on i turned it off on purpose so it wouldn't come on during the video but this here is my 2020 macbook air in space gray and on the left side of the computer this is the headphone jack so if you want to listen to music or whatever, you can just plug your headphones into here. And then on the right side, these are not your regular USB ports. These are actually USB-C ports. They're completely different from most of all of the other MacBooks. Um, even though I've even though I grew up on Apple, I don't really know that much about the MacBooks. But I do know these two are the USB-C ports. And I do have um, some other accessories to go along with this. So I was just showing you guys my laptop right here. Now, hopefully my laptop didn't come on and it did. Okay, hold on, y'all. My laptop came on and I did not want it to come on. So, <sighs> what in the world? Y'all, it changed my background. What in the world? I just like shut it down and it changed my whole entire background. Okay, well, anyway, so this is my Space Gray laptop. As you can see, it is Space Gray. I wanted it in rose gold, but my mom said rose gold looked kind of ugly for a laptop. And now that I see it in space gray, rose gold would have been ugly, an ugly color. But if you guys want it, you can definitely go get you a rose gold laptop. Now the price of this is a hundred, no, not a hundred. Scratch that, it's not a hundred. The price of this MacBook is a thousand dollars, nine ninety nine, ten hundred dollars, however you want to say it. This MacBook costs a lot of money. Now, this MacBook came out last year in 2020, and some of the features it's not really a whole lot of new features. The only new features are the USC, the USB C ports right here and 
this laptop also has a touch id right here so kind of like the iphone 5s all the way up to the 8 plus you know how they have like the touch id with the thumb to get into your phone this 2020 macbook air has the touch id right here i'm trying to show you guys let me see if i can show you all so I don't want to drop my computer. That's the last thing I want to do. But if y'all can see, the Touch ID is right here. My finger is over. The Touch ID is right here. So when you set up your MacBook, you actually have to type in a password. And you can also choose to set up your Touch ID as well, which I find it really convenient because you don't have to like type your password in every single time you go into your laptop all you have to do is just put your finger on it and it automatically unlocks your computer um so i'm trying to think of some other features because i've only had this laptop almost seven months i really haven't had it that long of a time so i've only had this laptop for seven months and honestly i really really love it now the only downside i would say about it is um it does automatically shut down i think maybe for like updates or whatever that's the only thing i don't like about it it does shut down sometimes but i think it's for like automatic updates but outside of that i really 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 love this computer it is really lightweight you can even hold it with one hand if you want to but i wouldn't suggest that because it's still a computer but it's so lightweight that you can really hold it with one hand so if you want the macbook air or the macbook pro um the one that came out last year in 2020 i would recommend that you start saving up your money because it costs a whole lot okay like if you don't get it as a christmas present or a birthday present and you really want a macbook air i would suggest saving up your money so now that i've showed you guys my macbook now i'm about to show you guys all of my accessories okay guys so i'm gonna show y'all all of my electronic accessories first like the chargers headphones etc so the first thing i have of course is the computer charger itself now this actually comes in the box with the computer and this is actually my computer box right here this is what the box looks like it's not anything to it this is what the box looks like so the charger comes with the box even the adapter which is the thing that plugs into the wall this comes with the computer in the box and of course the computer charger as well and like i mentioned earlier um this computer does not have the regular usb port so in order for you to charge your computer all you have to do is just plug this in and this is what it looks like if you guys can see this is what the USB-C, I guess, end of the cord looks like. So all you have to do is just plug it in to your computer and make sure that this part here is plugged into the wall and then you are all set to charge your computer. So the next accessory I have is basically my phone charger so this actually came with my iphone 11 i got my iphone 11 last year for christmas and this is the charger if you guys can see this is the charger and like i just said this came with my iphone 11 i got last year so if you ever want to charge your phone or your ipad or whatever other apple device um you would have to plug this into your computer as well just like that and then you can go ahead and charge your device now i usually i usually use the top port right here to charge my computer and then i use this port here to charge either my phone or my ipad 
but you can use whichever port like you can use this port to charge your computer you can use this port for anything else it still works the same but i just use this one for my phone and ipad and this one for the laptop itself so the next main i guess i should say mandatory um accessory you will need for your macbook is the USB-C adapter. So this is what the USB-C adapter looks like. So if you ever want anything that's like USB related, like a flash drive or a non-wireless mouse, you would have to use this right here. This is only $20 on Apple's website. And unfortunately, it does not come with the computer itself. So you would have to purchase this separately. But pretty much anything that's USB, like flash drives, I have two of them. So if you ever want to use like a flash drive or a wireless mouse, um, or no, a mouse that's not wireless, you would have to use this right here. So it pretty much works the same way, just like the charger. So this is the end of what it looks like. And then you just plug this into your computer like so. And then for example, I do have this flash drive right here. So if you ever want to import like any files or anything onto your computer, you would have to use the USB-C, um, I think it's a port. I forgot what it's called, but it's something that you have to have for your computer. So you just plug this into, I'm trying to show y'all so y'all can actually see it. So you actually have to plug the flash drive into here like this. If it'll go, my stuff is really messed up y'all. I don't know what's wrong with mine. I have to turn it like this. Ugh, there we go. So you have to plug it in like that. And then you plug this into your computer. And then as you can see, it did come on. If y'all can see, it did come on. Uh, but if you ever wanna use a flash drive or a mouse that has a wire attached to it, you would have to use the USB-C adapter. That's what it's called. I literally just said I did not know what it was called. So this is the USB-C adapter. And then the next thing that I have are just some regular headphones. I don't really use headphones like this or even listen to music on my computer the regular way. But if you ever want to listen to music on your computer, you can either listen to it with some regular headphones that has the headphone jack. Or if you want, you could use like your AirPods or whatever wireless headphones that you have. And I also have some wireless headphones or earbuds in here. So this is what these look like. These are my wireless earbuds. So these are the only two things that you could pretty much use or you could just listen to your music just like out loud from your computer. But if you wanna have your music in your ears, you can either listen to it with the regular headphones with the headphone jack right here, or you could use some wireless earbuds. And I already showed you guys the flash drive. So I do have two flash drives for my computer. I really don't have a need for them um, for my personal computer, but I did have a school district issued laptop for most of my um, school career from middle school to high school. So I did have to have some flash drives, you know, just to back up some files, but I would get flash drives just in case, cause you never may know, you know, your computer could, could crash or whatever the case may be. So I would recommend getting some flash drives, but I do have two flash drives right here. And the last electronic um, accessory I have for my laptop is a wireless mouse. This is what the mouse looks like. It's showing up gray on camera, but it's really blue. So this is actually a Microsoft mouse. I only got this because the college I attend 
issued us like Microsoft computers and I had to get a mouse in order to access the computer a little bit easily, but it ended up not connecting to my school computer. So I decided to use it for my personal computer. So it's just a Microsoft mouse and this is actually a wireless mouse. This mouse can connect via Bluetooth. So I would recommend getting like a wireless mouse. That way you don't really have to use the USB-C port if you have a mouse that has a wire on it. So I would recommend getting a wireless mouse, but this is what my mouse looks like. So those were all of my electronic laptop accessories. Now I'm about to show you guys my real accessories for my laptop. So the first accessory I have for my computer is a computer cover. Now this is actually the second computer cover that I bought for my computer. But as y'all can see, this is a rose gold glitter computer case. And I just thought this computer case was really, really pretty. And it has the cut out of the Apple logo right here. And I got this computer cover on Amazon and I believe it was either $21 or $22. I don't really remember, but this is what the back of the computer case looks like. And it's only black in the inside, so nothing special there. And I did wear this case on my computer for a few weeks, maybe a month. Um, but I did take it off because this case specifically made my computer heavier than what it was. And I told you guys earlier that that computer is really, really lightweight, but this case right here made it really, really heavy, but it does protect my computer. So just in case if it falls and this case is on it, this will protect my computer from breaking. So the second case I have, well, this is actually the first case that I bought for my computer. And I even did like a customizing and setting up my 2020 MacBook Air video um, about a few months ago. And this was the first case that I got for it. As you can see, it's this real pretty marble design. And this is what the back of it looks like. Now, the only reason I stopped wearing this case on my computer was because it cracked in three different places. And I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. Um, so it's actually one crack right here. Y'all can probably hear it. It's one crack right there. And then it's another crack like right here and another one somewhere else. And I decided to take it off my computer because I didn't want my computer to get messed up from the cracked case. And I did get this computer case from Amazon, by the way. Um, but it's really, really pretty. I might order me another one or hopefully try to find a design that looks like this one, just formatted a little bit differently. Because as y'all can see, the case itself, like the design itself is really, really pretty but I don't want my computer to be scratched up. So I'll probably end up buying me another one. So the next accessory I have is this wipe right here. This actually came with one of those computer covers. I don't really remember which one, but I really just use this to like wipe off the screen and basically just clean the computer if there's any like dust or my fingerprints on it. Um, I just use this white cloth right here to just wipe it off. And then the next few accessories I have are some mouse pads. And all of these mouse pads and most of all of these, well, I'm not even going to say most. All of these accessories came from Amazon. So the first mouse pad I have right here looks just like the computer cover I just got done showing y'all. It's pretty much the same design, really, really cute mouse pad. And it also has this black extra layer to keep um, the mouse pad in place while you're on like a hard surface, like a desk or whatever. But this is a really, really cute mouse pad. 
Then the second mouse pad I have is another marble design. The background of it is just like some black or gray streaks with some gold with a gold chevron pattern and it also has the same black layer in the back. Then the third mouse pad I have is another marble design. I honestly love marble design. I think it's really really pretty but this is the third mouse pad right here. The background just has gray streaks with some black chevron designs and then it has the same black layer in the back. And then the last mouse pad I have, this is probably my favorite one, only because of the details, but as y'all can see, the mouse pad is very, very colorful. It has like some pink, some blue, and some purple tie-dye designs, pretty much with some gold streaks in them. Super duper pretty. And it also has that same black background in the back. Then I'm about to be showing you guys all of my computer covers, or not computer covers, my keyboard covers for my laptop. So this is the first one right here. I don't know if you guys can really see it, but it's actually a ombre design. It starts at the top as white and then it goes down in like a mint teal kind of color. And it also has an open area right there for the touch ID. Then the second one I have, I think this one is another ombre one. So it starts out as pink and it goes into a purple ombre effect. And then it also has this same open space for the touch ID. And then the next computer cover I have, this one is another ombre one. It starts out as white and then it goes into a light pink color ombre effect. And then this one also has the open space for the touch ID. The next one I have, this is probably my favorite keyboard cover ever, only because the pink detail is just so vivid. Um, but this one is another ombre one. It starts out as white, then it goes into a light pink and then into a darker pink. And this one also has the open space for the touch ID. And then the second to last one I have is another ombre keyboard cover. I have a lot of ombre keyboard covers. But this one starts out as white as well. And then this goes into a purple ombre effect. And this one also has the open space for the touch ID. And the last keyboard cover I have is not an ombre keyboard cover. This keyboard cover actually came, I don't know where it went, but it actually came with this computer case right here. So this keyboard cover is actually rose gold. It's actually glitter, um, but I don't know if you guys can really see it that well, but it's like a glittery rose gold keyboard cover. Really, really pretty. And it also has that open space for the touch ID. And one last thing, I almost forgot. One last thing I have from my computer. I don't really know what you call this, but I do know you sit this in your lap and you basically just put your laptop on here. And this came from Amazon as well. Now my mom actually bought this for me and she also has one for herself as well. So I don't know how much it costs, but I can tell it's really, really pretty. So as you can see, it is a marble design and it also has this black bar down here at the bottom. I think that's because when you sit your computer on here, you don't want it to like slide off into your lap. So the bar is here to hold it back. And then on the, I think this is the right side, on the right side, it has an open area up here for you to put like your phone or a pen or a pencil. And then this right here is like a built-in mouse pad. And it also has a handle up here so you can transport it and take it with you whenever you want to. 
And those were all of the accessories for my 2020 MacBook Air. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share my channel. And I will see you guys tomorrow in Vlogmas Day 8. Bye!